knew it, said Monty excitedly. I knew the yo-yo would come in useful. Jake looked at him and shook his head. Did the humans find anything in their crackers, Monty? Ted was nervous. The string was attached to his hanger and Uncle Dan, Mum and Jake were holding the other end, ready to lower him down. You ready, Ted, mate? called Uncle Dan. I think so, squeaked Ted, then closed his eyes tight. Go! Lower he went, slowly, slowly, and he breathed a sigh of relief. It was working. Then, twang, the string broke, and down he span, eyes open now, the wrapping paper over the stable, zooming closer and closer till, twing, he stopped, hanging in mid-air just above the paper. The string had caught on a branch, and he could see his mum and Uncle Dan hopping down quickly to grab it. Quickly, he grabbed the shining paper and hung onto it tight. As he was hoisted back up, the roof of the stable came into view and Ted just caught a glimpse of that special baby, Jesus King, in his little wooden feeding trough bed. Back on the branch, Ted grinned. Now the humans would definitely notice the special baby. Any minute now, they'd look around and spot him. Any moment, 